Hey everyone, it's Master Aquatics, bringing you guys another video. Welcome back to the channel, guys, or just welcome to the channel if you're new. I just want to say if you clicked on this video, whether you like me or my videos, or if you're a new viewer, I just want to say thank you. I really do appreciate you clicking on this video. We are going to be talking about this weird lip growth thing that happens to be growing on fish um, every now and then. So it just depends on the fish and how they were raised and their genetics, all this stuff. So one thing that I noticed was when I went to this fish store, I was looking around in the fish tanks and I noticed these angel fish, some of them had these really large growths on their mouths. And I was surprised. I was like, how are they even able to eat with these things blocking their mouths like that? I also noticed that one of my predatory fish has one of these as well. So six months ago, I found this fish at another local fish store. And when I found him, he had the same growth on the side of his face as well. But this one didn't actually block his mouth he was actually still able to eat and i do apologize in this clip i was feeding him some goldfish and some rosy red minnows i had just got them that day and you know how it is you know some pet coats some pet smarts you know their rosy red minnows and their small little goldfish comments aren't always top quality so you know half of them end up dying as soon as you put them into the aquarium and half of them end up getting eaten so i do apologize for the dead feeders in there but like I said, you know, I noticed there was a growth on the side of his face and the store owner told me when I got this fish, you know, it's just like a birthmark. It's just like a, a cyst. It's not like a tumor. It's not life threatening. And he was right because this fish was eating as soon as I got it. It was healthy. There was nothing wrong with it. And you know, if you see this on your fish, you know, don't be alarmed. Um, now, I'm not saying that it can't be a tumor, but if your fish is healthy and active, then more than likely it's just a deformity. It's just like a like a beauty mark, I guess you can call it. But I was curious. I was like, what is this? What causes it? What can you do to get rid of it? So I looked up weird growth deformities on Google, and I ended up finding what this is called. It is called lip fibrioma. Pretty much, it's just like what I just described. It's just like a, a deformity. It's not life-threatening at all, but a lot of people don't like the way that it looks on their fish people will try to do surgery they'll try to get rid of it they'll do what they can to get it off their face now I will say this I did end up trying to do surgery on this fish to try to get rid of it as well but it just ended up growing back and also I don't think I did the necessary steps to completely cut it all off I mean I tried there's a video of me attempting to do this here's a few clips of me attempting the surgery if you guys want to watch that whole video just click on the link at the top right hand corner it'll take you straight to that video and pretty much I just feel like you know if it's not bothering the fish then why do it you know it's just putting if you try to do surgery it's just going to do a lot of stress and potentially harm your fish so if you guys notice this on your fish if you keep fish and you notice this weird thing on your on your fish's face unless it's blocking food intake i wouldn't do anything to try to get rid of it i would just leave it alone and i just wanted to make this quick video just talking about this and if you guys have more information that you want to add to it in the comment section below then feel free to do so i'm pretty sure a lot of people are looking for answers and more uh, information that i could provide but th that's pretty much what it is just lip fibroma hopefully you guys enjoyed the video my name is master aquatics i'll see you in the next one take care and bye